the Sun, for example, is having a greater sudden surge in its level of activity than we've seen basically in 11,000 years. Uh, and you can basically tick off every planet except Mercury. We haven't found a whole lot from Mercury. But every other planet besides Mercury, and in many cases several of the moons on those planets, if they have them, are showing really remarkable climate change. Through conjecture, one could surmise that December 21st, 2012, will end in catastrophe. But there is no indication that this will occur. Mankind has gone through various evolutionary stages at set intervals that coincide with the 5,125 year cycle of the Mayan calendar. Is this going to happen again in 2012? No one knows for sure. It could be instantaneous and could happen tomorrow. It might happen in 2050. It will happen eventually. The evidence dictates that it will happen within our lifetimes. This is the Froxfield chromosome formation. Obviously, the circle makers are saying, you know, 2012, pay attention to your DNA, right? Except here's the thing. The chromosome's all broken up. And that's what happens before there's about to be a cell metamorphosis. Now, this is even more interesting. Check this out. What does that look like to you? A double helix. Okay, and there's 12 stations. Then down here, you get an even weirder thing. You get a triple helix. But they still have that, that same formation, and then boom, what's this? And look at the timelines. This is less than a month apart in 1999, and this came out in 96. So it appears that there is a message being given about the basic nature of DNA changing somehow. This is another crop formation which shows you DNA very, very clearly. As you can see that it's twisting, and you can see the ladder and the helixes. So there's something very interesting going on here. If you look at the lineage of man, somehow we went from Homo erectus to Homo habilis to Homo sapien without any gradual change in between lineages. In other words, we had a spontaneous DNA upgrade every time. The approximate time schedule of these changes falls in alignment with the Mayans 5,125 year cycle of the Zolkine. Will this pattern continue in 2012? Is it happening right now? One additional phenomenon uh that, uh, that I'd like to speak about uh, as we're moving into this information is something uh, called the photon belt. There's a lot of information, a lot of books out now. Uh, and people are talking about uh, the photon belt, what it means to us, what it means to our lives uh, as, as we're witnessing this, uh, uh, this phenomenon for which we have no reference point. We've never seen this happen before. Uh, essentially what the photon belt is, in 1961, an astronomer named Robert Stanley began to detect particles of light, increased numbers of these particles, in the atmosphere of the Earth. Uh, they were called photons. And they've been measured since 1961, and they have continued to increase in density. So what's happening is uh, we are, are moving into a, a band, if you will, of greater and greater density, greater and greater particles of light. Well, researchers now know that this band uh, is a band that our solar system runs into, or, or actually passes through, uh, once about every 26 to 27,000 years, somewhere right around in there, depending on, on which calendars we're, we're looking at. Uh, and that it takes our solar system about 2,000 years for us to pass from one edge to the other of this band. And at the 1,000 year point, we are in the center of the band, the densest portion of the light um, that this band, that this photon belt has to offer. Our solar system is currently experiencing dramatic climate changes as we go further into the photon belt. If the photon belt is associated with minute radiation, this could feasibly alter our DNA as it has done in the past. The idea that an energy change in the solar system does not simply refer to an increase in the heat level of the planets or the brightness of the planets or the magnetic field strength, etc., which is the kind of changes that I'm describing in each planet. And if consciousness and energy are interconnected, then quid pro quo, a change in the solar system also refers to a change in consciousness. I recently interviewed John Major Jenkins and asked him about this anomaly. 
the planets are currently heating up right now, and science really doesn't have a, an answer for it. Um, the way I see it is they're really tuning into the vibration of what's going on with this whole 2012 event. What's your interpretation of the planets heating up? Well, I know there's basically the main interpretation of that is that the, our solar system is moving into a more energetic location of the galaxy. So that's kind of a physical location interpretation of why the planets are heating up. I would tend to default to the galactic alignment as sort of the basis of this process. Like we're lining up at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So metaphorically, one could think about that as more energy coming into the local system. Yeah. And there may be a, also a scientific model that then can be explained in regards to this that's causing more energy to come into the local system, affecting not only the sun, but all the planets that are mm -hmm. connected to the sun. Will 2012 bring a DNA upgrade? Only time will tell. What's your impression on how time seems to be speeding up with a lot of people? A lot of people feel like there's a sense of urgency and time seems, seems to be speeding up. What's your impression and how do you see something like that? Uh, well, I think it's like we're having more events in shorter and shorter periods, which, which you know, in a way kind of like intensifies our, our psyche. And I think it, it, it's, it's sort of like a dual thing. On the one hand, it's like the sense of time going fast. On the other hand, more events almost make it seem like slower also. It's like we're having to deal with more things in shorter intervals. And this seems to be um, predicted in some of the hypotheses around the Mayan calendar. That it's almost like a spiral. And we're going on these tightening, tightening gyres to go deeper into the spiral. Speaking of time, Terence McKenna's time wave zero theory speculates that time is spiraling toward the singularity as each Mayan underworld is being compressed into and upon itself.